welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. My name is One. God sent you to love and comfort me. Okay, Divine Masculine. <laughs> My name is One and I'm your spiritual advisor. Welcome back to the service all my beautiful beautiful messengers i appreciate you and just love you so much and thank you for loving me and choosing me because i choose you every single day uh it's still it's still i can't why am i stumbling over my words child here we go here we go anyway um Somebody forgetting what they're going to say. Somebody stumbling through the thought process. Like, I don't know. Uh, Divine Masculine, you're, you're trying to gather yourself, but you're tripping over yourself a little bit. I don't know why. We'll find out. Um, the Spirit told me to start backwards. I was going to work the session one way, but the Spirit said, no, go backwards. So either you're moving backwards or you need to move backwards or put it in reverse. Or, or something, uh, retrace your steps is what I also heard. Okay. So let's do that. Let's get into that. Any information you need to know about me is in the description box below. To book a reading, just DM me. To tip me, Cash App or PayPal. Description box and bio. Um, I don't really call out signs or anything like that. I like to leave some work for you to do. I just get straight to the message, okay? All right. What is the energy surrounding the Divine Masculine for April 2021? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Somebody's still flying off the handle. Flying off the table. What is it? Lightning. That's my God. That's my God card. It says, uh, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Okay, what else for Divine Masculine 2021? Oh, date. All right, see, I said somebody was trying to get, uh, I said you were trying to uh, get yourself together here. Uh, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, planning or setting a date, okay? So maybe it's news to you that you finally ready to make a move. Mm-hmm. God sent you to love and comfort me. <laughs> I just heard epiphany. Somebody got an epiphany. Ooh. Oh, that's divine feminine. Because as soon as I said somebody just got... <laughs> as soon as I said somebody just got an, uh, an epiphany... <laughs> I heard Divine Feminine uh, singing in the background, uh, the Chrisette Mis Michelle. Somebody is really, <laughs> I don't know, somebody stuttering. Somebody, I don't know. <laughs> you make, uh, or she makes you, or vice whoever, somebody makes you stumble over your words. You're nervous to meet somebody or something. Again, there's epiphany right here. But again, if I'm masculine, I said, as soon as I said, you've had an epiphany, I heard Chrisette Michelle with her uh, song, Epiphany. I think it's the one that's like, oh, I think I'm just about over being your girl, and it's over. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Somebody put that down in the comments for me. Thank you. Yes, that's what I heard. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, again, maybe you're getting an epiphany that your divine feminine is getting out there, meeting new people, okay, uh, setting up some meet and greets or something, masked, uh-huh, not showing true feelings, hiding, um, pretending, delude, gaslighting, I get this strong, <laughs> I get this strong energy, I don't know if you, oh, you're on some dating sites or something like that. Um, but, but somebody catfishing here, or maybe you catfishing somebody, but that's just, that's the immediate thing that I, uh, got here. Um, I don't know if you want to ask somebody on a date and you kind of lurking around or whatever, whatever, but if you talking to somebody, baby, that ain't who it is, or you, uh, catfishing somebody that you want to date, somebody that you, uh, want to reach out to. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you, oh, that's what I heard. You playing it cool. Oh, shit. 
<sighs> Playing it cool here, right? It says attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Oh, we playing it cool with everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. What is this? An addiction. Yep. Codependent obsession. Possession controlling. Has a block restraint. Uh oh. What is this going? Somebody pretending like uh, they ain't. Uh, <laughs> somebody's pretending like they're they're not into somebody. Uh, maybe like they're a player putting on the facade of a player or something like that. Uh, but I feel like it's, it's all a facade because they really, you really on somebody else's <laughs> ass here. It, it's like the T is, all right, with the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, transformation, growth, change, mind, uh, twin flames, union, duality, coupling, uh, complimenting each other, engagement ring here. Oh, can you see that? There you go. Uh, partnership, commun <laughs> commitment, uh, completion, and uni here. Now, I don't, I don't know if you plan it like you're interested in uh, this, that, or them, that, and the other. But uh, clearly here, I believe that it is a false mask. Uh, maybe. I don't know initially because we still got to pull some motherfucking cards here. Okay, I don't want to get ahead of myself. But you know what happens when you get ahead of yourself in fucking relationships? You end up with the screw face. You end up with the pie and the tomatoes and all that shit, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, either you're pretending not to be uh, into somebody and pretending to, you know, be out there playing the field. But deep down, uh, the, the real tea is, is that you, you really got your eye on somebody who you want to snatch up because you believe this is your partner. Uh, I have twin flame and engagement ring out here. So I don't know. It's like you're presenting one thing, but it's uh, your state of mind is actually uh, the, the opposite. Okay. I also see somebody who's out here. Uh, I also see somebody out here who uh, divine masculine like is. Is somebody just addicted to loving everybody? They love everybody. I don't know. I don't know. They they love the art of dating. The the, the they love love. Okay. They pretend like they don't though. We have room here. On the lightning. What is this? Waiting. What they wait now? Constance. <laughs> Somebody is tired of really putting on this facade, and it's like you want to meet divine masculine. I, you know, I don't know if you waiting on somebody to come to you or, or something like that. I, I don't, I don't, and I don't even know why you're waiting before you pull up or before you make uh, an an appearance here. But I feel like you're definitely wearing yourself uh, thin here because I I feel like you're more than excited to kind of. You're the most excited one to get whatever this is going on. The other person probably has no fucking idea because, again, uh, you may be wearing a mask, uh, pretending like, um, you know, you're playing the field or, or whatever, whatever. But for some, you're you're waiting and obsessing both of y'all. It's like two motherfuckers, like... Again, like, we just gonna pretend... Uh, we don't really fuck with each other, but yeah, we both we both wait in neutral corners, opposite corners here. Huh? Huh? And she like, huh? Okay. <laughs> I just heard I've been around the world by Lisa Stansfield. Somebody didn't have one too many honey pots. 
here. This despair is on the seduction here. I don't <laughs> You have really got to have somebody or you're going to lose your shit. I don't think you're going to. I don't think you. <laughs> I don't think you, it's like you want to approach somebody, but for fear of rejection, like, I don't think you're going to know what to do with yourself if this person doesn't ex accept your offer. You know you can't show up with no fake shit, but you don't want somebody to know how uh, into into them that you are divine master. You're not letting some, somebody know, but on the inside, buddy, it's like, all I do is think of you. Day and night. Constellation here. You asking God for help. Like, why do I constantly think of this bitch? What is going on? I, you know. <laughs> I can't even. Uh, my hoes ain't even hoeing. And them thing ain't even thinging like it is no more. Because all I do. Is think about this person. You really want to be with. Money too, right? This might be the first time you really wanted to share ever in your life, especially if you was a selfish motherfucker before or with some things. Yeah, I, I just feel like you want to give somebody everything. You may even be uh, scared to know how much you are into somebody, like you'll run them off for something they really, 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 really knew. Mm -hmm. They may be older than you. Oh, somebody who's mature, has a good heart with the service. Yeah, and you want to serve them also. You want to open doors for this person, Divine Masculine. Wow, or vice versa. Here, look at that, sweetheart. Oh, you really uh study this person here. And I feel like the balance that you give each other, uh, maybe energetically, tele telepathically, I don't know. But I get the feeling like if this person is sad, uh, you may send them energy or, or positive energy. You're always saying something to uplift their spirits or or uh, vice versa a little bit. I don't I don't know. It's a tough ba it's a balance and it's a tough balance to go between uh detached when you really 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 you know care on the inside but you put on this mask like you don't and you know she's sitting up here or they're sitting up here waiting on you like okay how how long are we gonna play this game here somebody also tells somebody else they're not finished to them wait around while they sow their oats so to speak somebody uh, has been in a relationship with somebody for a very long time or maybe you've entertained this person or whatever and you kind of waiting for them to go through their face. I don't know, make an honest person out of you. What's up? Somebody's going to be up though. Somebody tired of waiting on you to get your uh, shit together and stop around the street with these hoes. Jody. Okay. And she like, you want to uh, be out there slanging wang and doing this and that? You know, well, go ahead and take yourself out. But if you're going to be playing around, I'm not going to be here. Because especially if you have a sexual addiction, uh, that's bad business for everybody uh, out here. Okay. Somebody also has an STD. I will be getting some, um, cause I, yeah, consolation or some, I don't know. Somebody's wiener got them in trouble. Everybody's versus. Or be careful, okay? While you're out here dating these people online, these people that you don't know, these people, these uh, one night stands, one hour stands, one hour more. I, I don't know. Uh, be careful here. All right, if you can catch something that you can't uh, get back, that's for very uh, specific people. But yeah, I feel like you definitely want to make your way. Um, towards a uh special someone that you've been observing all right maybe you want to visit their house uh suddenly again with that telepathic here to my mask then what else
You watching and waiting. What? Yeah, I just said that. You watching and waiting, watching and waiting. But the motherfucking twenty two is here, so you definitely uh, we on the path. We on the path. What's going on? Well, let me know what's up. Uh, <laughs> okay, cause she waiting on you to quit playing, or somebody waiting on you to quit playing here. I said, what's good with the go-go? Somebody also feels like if they can't have the other person like that, they going crazy. You want to sex somebody so bad, I don't know who that is. <laughs> it's like you going crazy. Like, Lord, I don't have this person. I'm trying to wait. You may even be trying to be a celibate here. That's only for a select few. What is this um, mask and uh, constancy here? Yeah, sacrifice. I just said that. You may even be putting on again. I said you may be putting on airs that your your uh some is out there slanging and dangling and 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 all of that and still trying to entertain a spiritual union for those set of uh masculines like bitch. No, God is not gonna hand you a diamond to go be scraping this shit across the concrete. No, like, it's not gonna happen. So that's out if you don't get your shit together. For another few, some of you are uh definitely uh getting yourself together. I do see a celibacy on here maybe you're pulling on the air it's like you know you may be looking around and examining but you're not or you're doing your best to um get that uh under control because you're waiting for something uh better something tried and true but it's like the same thing it's like well i can't let my boys know that you know what i mean you ain't gonna let your boys know that you're keeping it cool to your boys to your friends to your community uh, uh whatever it may be oh i'm doing this and that when actually um you're not doing anything you sitting up looking at her <laughs> all day you you know what I'm saying? this is where you at on some shit that your friends probably don't even understand can't even understand right yeah But thinking about the big picture here, you uh, definitely um, will be sacrificing or may even be sacrificing. Again, I see uh, celibacy here. What is this despair and seduction? Yeah, I listen. I'm telling you, somebody is really trying to keep it under control. It's driving them crazy because I feel like a uh, divine masculine. Maybe you're a person who's very, very sexual, very sexual, used to having sex. You, you know what I mean? But um, it looks like, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like you, you have a real opportunity to link up with the soulmate here. And I feel like even though you may have some proclivities or whatever, um, in the past, you may have been fucking bitches here or there, up the wall, down the street, on the beat, where, where, you know what I mean? Just like you understand that you can't bring that type of energy into a spiritual union here so this may be the first time in your life again with this lightning and this sudden change is like you may be doing the right thing and putting it under wraps and preserving yourself and really you know uh kind of getting yourself ready and preparing yourself uh for this uh divine journey but man you might be sick as but it might be it's hard <laughs> okay it's hard uh, especially if you like bitches if you like niggas if you like fucking if you like you know what i mean uh, uh, that's why the addiction here you may be going to uh, getting some counseling if it's that deep for you because you really um, don't want to fuck up and, and bring that type of energy into um, this union here right so you may be seeking some counsel maybe that's what you're waiting for to kind of get your loins and get your desires and you know get get all that un you know under control I definitely feel here. Uh, maybe that's why you're waiting for your, yeah, that's why you're waiting before you approach someone with the marriage. Yeah, we have financial and material changes here. So, um, yeah. Mm hmm. I just feel like, um, oh, yeah, I see. You definitely, uh, 
You may have took some losses also dealing with a lot of uh, multiple partners or even paying for sex here. Somebody definitely pays for sex. Financial and material uh, changes here. You would definitely want to stop that before you... <laughs> Somebody uh, paying for several holes, you probably, damn, and it's killing you to cut these holes off, right? But then again, you probably have more money in the piggy bank, so you're definitely making some uh, changes there, okay? Somebody uh, sick about letting all their holes go, but they finna do it, though. Mm -hmm. And again, with the uh, hair font here, somebody's definitely getting some, maybe even spiritual counseling or somebody uh, talking to a counselor, therapist or something, getting getting themselves under control with this addiction and consolation here. Ooh. Somebody's going deep here. Are you doing that one? Really? Really? It's fucking you up. You uh, Maybe for the first time in your life, you, you're really considering selling down for somebody and maybe that is just fucking your whole little world up too. Yes. You finna give a bitch what she deserve or somebody. <laughs> okay, period, period. Look at this. Uh, yeah, somebody's definitely number uh, one and say three here, but um, showroom floor type shit. Uh, everything. This is somebody with the Phoenix. You totally transform uh, floor. And it, again, this is the twin flame card here. And this is why. Like, you're... Uh, Damn, it's like a uh, money engagement ring, all of that. It's like bringing out the whole war chest for whoever this is here. And uh, I feel like uh, somebody really giving somebody props. Like, damn, I didn't even think it could be dubbed because I've been out here doing my motherfucking thing. But you got to have you, whatever. Like, yeah. Finally giving somebody the, the love that they deserve. Uh Everything instead of playing around with this mask here and, and all of that. Um, I feel a real transparent um, energy here. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. Prosperity begins here. Uh, true nine of cups energy. Yeah. You're about to ask somebody for their hand in marriage. Most definitely. Most definitely want to get somebody pregnant. Look at the seed planted in the groves and the fruit and all of that shit and the abundance. Okay, I'm not mad at you. I am not mad at you. Yep, you are definitely on your way. And I don't fucking blame you, but um, you just take those growing pains and, you know, do what you need to do. Um, Hopefully, who you're waiting for will be there on the other side. Uh, if you don't take your time, if you don't bullshit around. But it looks like you are doing the work, Divine Masculine. And um, Divine Feminine, bitch, get ready. That's all I got to say. I don't know, sis. Look like he coming this time. I don't know. I mean, you look like you ain't fucking around this time. So we gonna see, motherfucker. We gonna see. That's what she has to say. We gonna, we gonna see. <laughs> they doing them hood movies. But like, mm-hmm. We'll see. That's, mm, I guess you had to show and prove. So we'll see. And let me see you like this video. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all social medias. If you'd like to book a personal reading for yourself, DM me um, to tip me. Do that by Cash App or PayPal. In the description box below, there are links. And thank you so, so much, my love. And as always and forever, I love you with the highest love. One.